go into your QuickBooks Reconcile page and make sure that you're on the PayPal account. Here, we're going to start reconciliation just like normal. Looking for my ending balance here, I can get that from here. My ending balance in this case was $22.49.77. We are reconciling February. I'm going to start reconciling. This is where it may go a little different from what you're used to. From here, we're going to do a couple of things. First thing is we're going to change the date of our reconciliation. What we want to do is grab the next workday or at least the next day that the bank was open. This month ended on the 28th, which is a Tuesday. The next business banking day is the 1st. Uh, if the month were to end on a Saturday or Sunday, you would want to grab the Monday following. If that Monday were a holiday, you would want to grab Tuesday. Basically, what you're trying to do is give yourself enough latitude to make sure that you're grabbing enough information from QuickBooks to match all the data that is in the PayPal statement. Here, I'm going to apply this. Now, this part can get a little tricky. As we scroll down and view these transactions, QuickBooks is loading them. In order to load all of them into memory, we actually need to go through the process of scrolling through each one. If you've done this in the past, you may have found that if you go too fast, all the data is lost and it brings the scroll bar back to the top. So I'm going to go little by little all the way to the bottom. I'm not going to make you sit through this. I'll speed this up. Okay, now I'm at the bottom of the data. I know that going through that can be very tedious, but it's important that we do that because of the next step. If we don't, sometimes data is missing. Here's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna go over here and click print. Whenever the print screen comes up, we're gonna cancel out. Now that we have the screen, click cancel. Now I'm going to come here to the top and I'm going to grab all the header data and I'm going to go all the way to the bottom. Now, if you don't grab the header, this isn't going to work. So make sure you start with the header and go all the way to the bottom. The way you get to the bottom is control shift end. There we go. That selects all the data. I'm going to copy this with control C and now I'm going to go into the template and show you how it works. We pull data from QuickBooks and we go to the Drop Export Here tab. I'm right up here at the top and I'm just gonna paste this in. Whenever I do that, it drops it into this section here and now I've got formulas that I'm going to try to use to match this data up to data in the rest of the sheet. Now at this point, there is no data in the rest of the sheet, so it's all gonna come back as errors. But that's okay, this is still useful to have because later, if we're still not able to fully reconcile, we can use this tab to identify any additional variances. We'll, we'll deal with that later if we have to. So we're going to copy this, paste it here, and then I'm going to go all the way to the bottom of my data, control down. Now I'm going to go all the way to the top, control V to paste. Now we've got this formula for all the data. Unfortunately, there's not a good way to ensure that we've captured all the data from QuickBooks. We've tried, we've done everything in our power right now. Sometimes the data doesn't come through. If it doesn't, I'll show you how to deal with that later. 